Good evening everybody, welcome to the Successful Showgirl. My name is Kitty and today we are talking about gratitude. So the title of the um, talk today is Gratitude Attitude. So what we're going to be talking about basically is what is gratitude and we're going to be thinking about some techniques that we can use um, basically to make ourselves feel good, to give ourselves a positive mindset etc so for me gratitude has completely changed my life gratitude practice and the idea of thinking that i'm grateful for things every day has had a huge 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 impact on my life and how i do things in everything really so gratitude is basically just a practice of giving thanks and being thankful for things so what i do is i have like a daily routine of where i sit in the morning and i use my journal and i write down all the things that i am grateful for and this works basically because you can't have a negative thought whilst you're feeling a, a feeling of gratitude that's an actual fact so when you're feeling grateful for something you can't be negative about something at the same time so gratitude is basically a way of positive thinking and I've, I've spoke to you about this before but the basic neuroscience behind positive thinking and gratitude is that we've got a part of our brain called the reticular activating system and within that bit of the brain that's kind of like a focus point it focuses on certain things so if we're thinking of positive things that part of the brain hones in on it and focuses on those things more if we're thinking negative things that part of the brain focuses on negative things and we see more negative things more so for example if you're running late for work or whatever you always have one of those days you wake up late and then something else bad happens you might spill your coffee then you're stuck in traffic and these things accumulate and normally that's purely because you're noticing the negative things more because something negative's happened to you i.e the first thing the being late and your reticular activating system then goes ah we're going to focus on bad things now and it starts noticing more bad things and you start noticing more bad things had you woke up on time you probably would have spilled your coffee and not even noticed you'd done it, just cleaned it up, got in the car and yeah, you're stuck in traffic but it really doesn't matter because you're enjoying the music and you're not late for work because you woke up on time so nothing really matters. The way your reticular activating system works is it just purely hones in on the things it thinks you want to think. So the more you feed it positivity, in the form of gratitude the more it's going to say those positive things and that really will make a huge difference to your outlook on life so tasks today this is only going to be a short one i'm not going to talk about this for ages but it is one of my favorite topics but it's something that you've kind of just got to do yourself you've got to sit down and you've got to start doing it on a daily basis all these things that i'm teaching this you this week to do with mindset are things you've got to do daily you've got to build on your mindset just like when you go to the gym you have to work out daily to build muscle you can't just do it once a week and expect to look like a bodybuilder that's just not going to happen and you can't even really do it like twice a week you've got to do it continuously to get the results and the mindset work is exactly the same so this week your task is each day either in the morning or in the evening to write a gratitude list so i do this every morning and evening actually i sit down in the morning and think what i'm grateful for and then in the evening i write down what i've been grateful for that day so sit down and write down your gratitude list what are you grateful for yeah this is really going to focus you on how amazing things are going in your life sometimes we don't realize for example when something bad happens we forget about all the amazing things we've got going on because we're just focused on that one bad thing. In COVID, like I thought like the world was ending. I was like, oh my God, everything is like ruined. Like life is shit. Um, and I wasn't thinking about all the amazing things I had. I had a roof over my head. 
I managed to get another job so I worked as a carer during COVID so I still had money coming in and some people weren't having any of those things I, ha I lived with someone else so I had like someone to split the bills with and someone else to support me they were still in a job all these things I wasn't noticing because I wasn't practicing gratitude because I was too focused on the negative stuff that was going on and as soon as I changed that about myself and I did start focusing on gratitude my life has changed dramatically and good things start happening when you're appreciative of the small things in your life I also want you to write down all the shitty things that have happened to you in the past 12 months um, two years whatever okay and I want you to think about what you're grateful for out of those things so for me now I practice gratitude a lot so therefore when something bad happens I can always manage to flip that into a good thing I'm not talking here toxic positivity I'm not talking about not feeling your emotions when something crap happens to you that's not what I mean I am very much about if something bad happens to you, you you cry, you be sad, you talk to someone about it, you moan, you complain, but then after a day or so, you really have to pick yourself up and start thinking about how you're going to deal with that situation. For example, COVID, yeah, awful. I like cried about it for way more than I probably should have done for too long, really, and I needed to pick myself up but I didn't I wallowed in it for such a long time and that for me wasn't healthy it wasn't healthy at all like there's a healthy amount of being sad and being upset but then there comes a point where you need to pick yourself up and you need to sit down and you need to be like right what are we going to do about this what have I learned out of this situation and how has this been good for me so I want you to think of things that have happened to you in the past year or two years or whatever that you can say, oh my God, that was, at the time, awful, but now everything is amazing. So for me, obviously COVID is a huge one. COVID for me was awful. Like I really did wallow in that. However, it got me to set up this business. It got me to set up the Successful Showgirl. I now talk to you guys on a regular basis. Lots of um, people that join the group in lockdown who weren't performers at all are now professional performers that have quit the jobs and are working as performers. It's like for me, that is a real positive that came out of it. Something else that happened to me that was bad, I, um, in the summer, split up with my husband. I found out that he had like a secret Tinder account and stuff like that, which at the time, obviously it was absolutely awful, but now I'm glad it happened because I would have never left that relationship. I wasn't very happy in it. Now I've met somebody lovely and I am really happy and I would have never done that had that awful thing ever happened. So I'm grateful that that did happen eventually because even though it was terrible at the time, it was the kick up the bum that I needed to move on and, and get out and get my own place and do all my own thing that I should have done well before that, but I never would have done it without that happening. So you've got to try and start thinking about what are the positives. I'm not going to say though, the day after that happened, I should have been all positive and been like, oh, well, at least this has happened. That's not what happened. I probably lay in bed crying for about like two months about it because that's normal, isn't it? It's a normal response. Like everybody's got to feel their emotions, but then eventually you do have to sit down and be like, right, what am I doing about this? Okay. So I told you I was going to like be super honest with you this week and overshare. And I'm just going to tell you the things that I've done in the past, like, I'm not perfect and there's lots of things that have happened to me where I've had to start developing these techniques to improve my mindset because bad things have happened, particularly COVID, that's when I really started using mindset stuff because I just found it absolutely awful and I found it really difficult to cope with and without gratitude and things like that, I probably would have never got through it and I definitely never would have got through it creating a new business and creating something that helped other people as well so i want you to start your gratitude practice with a daily gratitude list i also want you to start thinking about the things that are bad that you can turn into things that you're grateful for it's basically scientifically proven that if you use gratitude it can improve your health 
it can improve your mindset, it can improve your mental health. There are absolutely tons of studies to say that people who practice gratitude have healthier lifestyles physically, um, live longer, etc. Practicing gratitude is amazing for you and it's free and it's easy and it's something that you just for me now is a no-brainer i think every single person should do it why they don't teach it in schools i just don't know okay so they are your tasks for today i'm not going to go on about gratitude for ages it's pretty straightforward think about the things you're grateful for think about the shitty things that have happened that you can turn into a positive there's also a really really great book that i cannot recommend enough called the magic by Rhonda Byrne. so if anyone's in the secret it's basically the follow-on book from The Secret, but it's called The Magic and it's all about gratitude. The whole book gives you little tasks every day for 30 days and it is honestly one of the best books I've ever read. I can't recommend it enough. So if you're going to give the gratitude thing a go, start with the gratitude um, journaling each day and then see if you can read the book or get it on Audible and listen to it in the car. It is just one of the best books i just think it's great so that's all i'm going to talk about today it was a really short one but i think gratitude is a really great practice and such an important part of mindset work and also like of just living a great life like for me it really has changed everything for me so i would recommend it to you start today have a little go write down the things you're grateful for and let me know in the comments Pop in the comments below your gratitude list for the day. Yeah, I would love to hear about it. So thanks very much for joining me. I will speak to you all tomorrow. Tomorrow we're talking about self-love, okay? So we're going to talk about self-love and then Thursday we're talking about self-confidence, okay? So pop your things below, pop your gratitude list below. Really want to hear about them and I will speak to you all soon. Have a lovely evening. Bye-bye.